uh, this is a sort of a walkthrough on how to use the component climbing system in a blank, I guess, third person project. So I'm going, I uh, started up um, UE4 421 and I'm going to make a new third person project. You can just put it on the desktop and you can call it test patch and oops oh, hide you and let's let this load up Okay. Okay. Blank third person. Well, I guess regular third person project. Okay. Now we need to add our climbing system to project. This is called test proj. I doubt I have more than one test proj. Now, where are you? Oh. Okay, so let's go in our clean folder, maps. Load the default. Blueprints, components. Let's go to the clean component. And you see how it says trace type query 3. That means that it's tried to replace my custom collision trace channel with um, something. So, what we need to do is Go to project settings, collision, new trace channel, and we make a channel called cleanable and set it to ignore. Except that. And we make another one because I had two channels. This one's called damageable, and this is also defaultly set to ignore. And you should have these two. So now it should auto populate. A good thing to do is to go and check and make sure every everything is set properly. Um, with with all of the traces, pretty much they're gonna be all set to clingable. The damageable is only used with the um giant AI and the player to get something that's damageable i.e. the cling components clingable clingable um, and yeah this one should be set to visibility which is good because this traces for the ground Right. So now if I go and I hit E, still does nothing. Now let us check. Let us go to the base cling object. Because since we just set up our trace channels, we need to make sure that our capsules, our box, and our mesh 
all block that channel. I'll block the um clingable channel. You see it's set to ignore, so we set it to block. Um yeah. Go to the box, set clingable to block, go to the mesh, set clingable to block. component this is a child of the base and I've made a few changes on there and for the limbs they're the ones that you really want to attach to the AIs the different characters so I normally set those to damageable as well so you can damage them Let's go to the player character. Make sure everything's all fine and dandy with him. Okay, that makes sense because. <laughs> It didn't put over the input keys, so we either have to make our own by going, or well, make this these same ones, or make our own by going into Edit, Project Settings, and scroll down to Input, and make these. And as a matter of fact, yeah, let's do that. Um, that was Grab, so let's make grab and the key set it to E um, and what else are we missing? We're missing our attack. Go back to project settings. It's another action mapping. We call it attack. Set it to our left mouse button. Oh, left mouse button. There we go. And that should do it. Get to the ear because we don't need you. And now he should climb. He better. Or else I'll beat him. Yeah. Yeah. He climbs. This is these problems all are due to the um the trace channels and the um like sort of like your project settings not porting over into the um what is it um the asset pack so I might have to change it into a create project type and then you migrate your stuff after you create a project or I might actually change the way you trace and stuff entirely and start using the uh, tagging system what do you guys think yeah. they all should work I guess reasonably the same but it's all the, I just want ease of access so it's not it's a great barrier of entry to try and create your own characters and and whatnot. Oh well, thank you. You guys have a good day and enjoy. <laughs>